What is going on, NCTI friends? Welcome to the very first episode of Wire Wisdom Tech Talk, presented by NCTI. This new series allows us the freedom to check out the latest in broadband tech and talk to you about it. NCTI doesn't endorse any of the companies or products that we highlight. These videos are strictly for your entertainment and to present technology that's cool and that we feel could be useful in the broadband space. All products presented in these videos are gifted and may be highlighted within NCTI curriculum. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to business. Today's episode is for you 20 and 40 megahertz maniacs, weak in the knees SSI DBs, 7th heaven 802.11, caught in the hot spot, pass face craze, got the tools to make you drool, dual band Wi-Fi fans, yes sir and ma'am, and all of our NCTI fam, I think you got it. We're talking about Wi-Fi spectrum analyzers. Now there are many types of Wi-Fi spectrum analyzers on the market, and choosing one can be tough to do. Price, durability, usefulness, ease of use are all factors to take into consideration when choosing a Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer. I'm assuming that most of you watching this diagnose simple home and or commercial Wi-Fi issues and may not need a product that maybe a certified wireless network engineer would need. There are plenty of companies out there that cater to your needs. Now I know you can simply go to Google Play to download one of the many free Wi-Fi signal analyzers out there and that might be a good solution for you. Those apps will show you SSIDs in the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz environment and will help you identify overlapping SSIDs. Unfortunately, that doesn't really work for iOS. You can get additional data using the airport utility, which is also free. I'll throw a link in the description for more info on that. But that only tells part of the story. Non-Wi-Fi interference, channel utilization, and other spectral activity can only be identified with a spectrum analyzer. So without further ado, today's Tech Talk episode's about Osseum and their Ypri 5X Spectrum Analyzer. Roll the tape. The Osseum Ypri 5X is a relatively inexpensive Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer that works with Android and iOS devices. The Ypri 5X retails for $499. So what do you get for $499? Well, let me show you. Ypri 5X Spectrum Analyzer Module. Dual band antenna, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Mini B to lightning connector, which connects the Ypri module to an iOS device. Mini B to USB A cable used to connect the Ypri hardware to the doctor device. Mini B to micro B cable used to connect the Ypri module to an Android device. Doctor device used for iPhone X, iPhone 8, and 8 Plus. Adhesive Velcro for attaching to a mobile device. Ruggedized carry case developed out of a recommendation from 80 plus ride alongs with cable technicians. Download the Osseum Ypri app from the Apple or Android store. Once downloaded, open the app and connect the Ypri hardware. Now click on the Ypri app and you will notice a red light illuminates when the Ypri module is activated by the app. All right, welcome to the home screen of the Osseum Ypri app. So I've had a few weeks to uh, mess around with this application and I have to say that's pretty cool. Uh, the basics for identifying Wi-Fi issues are definitely covered in this app. Uh, you can view both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz range, or 5 gigahertz band, so I'm gonna go to 2.4, and then there's five right there. That's cool, you can see both sides. Um, you can also, let's go back to 2.4. Um, you could, since you don't see any of the channels here on the bottom, you can just tell what channel you wanna look at since everything that we're on right there is an 11. Gives you your range. 2,452 megahertz to 2,472 megahertz. Click off that, click off that. Um, it, it identifies, this, this app will identify co-channel, adjacent channel, and non-Wi-Fi interference. Uh, the non-Wi-Fi is, in, uh, well, non-Wi-Fi, adjacent, and co-channel are all, all great because this actually gives you a graph. You know, those free apps, when you go into there and you look at SSIDs, it just shows you if you have overlapping SSIDs. So you can, you can if you see one that's not on 1, 6, or 11, you're like, okay, I have adjacent channel interference. But it may not be doing anything. It could just be like a, a, a printer or a, a router that's on, but not, no one's connected to it. So this really kind of lays out everything for you. Uh, it's got an intuitive color legend that ranges from single packet usage, uh, which is identified there in the purple, uh, to red, which indicates um, significant activity of more than 20 transmissions per point. Uh, the lower the red is on the y-axis, which is your vertical axis there, uh, indicates minimal interference, so that's amplitude. The higher is the higher amplitude. Uh, the red you currently see on the bottom um, is just the noise floor. So. 
Uh, there's a limited waterfall view that doesn't give you much more than an admit of info. Uh, this could be an issue when diagnosing intermittent issues. Um, and I'll show you that real quick. I'm just gonna turn on one of my lucky gadgets over here. Let that thing populate far over there on channel one. If you notice, you start to see a signature coming up. Um, if I go into spectrum and I hit waterfall view, uh, and I get this, you see the very top is starting to come in. That shows you because this is over time, it's it's going down. So everything that's at the very top, the, the top of this graph is the new information. The, the bottom of the graph is the old information. Now, I'm gonna take this uh, non-Wi-Fi interference producer right here, which I'll show you in a second, and I'm gonna get it closer to my antenna, and we're gonna see that the waterfall view is gonna build out pretty, pretty extreme here in a second. So you, to see, that now we have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, utilization going on on that bottom end. Now, if I go into the spectrum and I go back to my real wave view, you'll see that it's just pumping down there at the bottom, which I'm, I'm sure my neighbors are not too happy about. So I'm going to turn off this 2.4 gigahertz phone, and then we'll see that thing die down here in a second and go away. Uh, good way to good way to troubleshoot. Take this bad boy around the house. Um, you know, this thing does attach to the back of my phone via Velcro, so if you listen. Yep, so I'm gonna keep it on the back there. Um, walk around, check out the house, check out uh, commercial properties or whatever, and, and this thing will show you what's in your environment. Now, all in all, this thing is 490 bucks, and that's pretty impressive, and I, I really like that it comes with everything that you need to have uh, to get started. Um, I can't imagine not having something like this when, when troubleshooting the field nowadays. You know, guess, guessing on what problems could be is just is not the way to go. Um, so, like I said, $499, there's no reoccurring fee, you just get the module and access to the app through the module, and pretty cool. I look at Wi-Fi signal analyzers the same way I look at signal level meters. I remember guys leaving their meters at home and trying to diagnose RF issues by replacing everything inside and outside of the home. They end up spending hours replacing every fitting, splitter, drop, and then the equipment, and the issue still persists. Turns out the problem was in the network and could have easily been tracked down with the usage of a meter at the tap. That's how Wi-Fi troubleshooting has been handled for years. It's frustrating not having the right tools to diagnose the problems you face. I believe that tools like this are the answer. As I stated earlier, Osseum is not the only company out there. I also really like Metageek's products. But these guys aren't the only players in the Wi-Fi spectrum analyzer game. Do some research and come up with your own opinion. I'll leave a couple links below to Osseum and Metageek. So what other products should I highlight? Leave a name down below and I'll search it out. Or if you're a company that you would like me to check out your product, you can email me at wiredwisdom at ncti.com. Well, that does it for me. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the latest Wired Wisdom videos as they are released. Thanks a lot and be safe out there.